Today we're doing a Bible quiz. Is it Paul or is it Tolkien? If you're new here, welcome to Heart of Halfling. We talk about Lord of the Rings and do some Lord of the Rings things. So let's get started. So this video is inspired by one that Way Nation has done and Tolkien Lore also did a video on theirs. So this is inspired by that, but it's not their questions. It's my own invention. And so we are going to see how well you know Paul from the Book of Acts yep. and Tolkien lore. Okay. Okay, so one little disclaimer. When I say God, mm -hmm. I mean both. It could be either Eru or God. Gotcha. So it's gonna it's not like, oh, she said God, so that's <laughs> that's the Bible. All right, so there's five questions. Let's go. Okay. Ooh, I'm nervous. I hope these are good. All right, first one. He argued that a person did not have to be one thing or another to worship God and be in paradise. Is this Paul or is it Tolkien? Mm -hmm. Okay, so these aren't like direct quotes. No. Are these, okay, so these aren't. These direct. are more like general events or people or things. Okay. Um, Repeat the statement one more time, please. Okay. <clears throat> he argued that a person did not have to be one thing or another to worship God and be in paradise. Uh, that's Paul. <laughs> yeah, that's Paul. <laughs> no question. Yeah. No doubt. That's your, your one. Yes. Okay. The answer is Paul. Mm -hmm. So the only thing when I wrote this, I was like, oh, this might be too easy, but I'm going to go with it because... In the uh, voyage of Rendil, when he, him and Elwyn get to Valinor, Olmo, what well, Mandos is like, should we allow man to be in mm -hmm. Valinor? And mm -hmm. Olmo argues, like, are they elves or are they men? Yeah. So that was supposed to be kind of the illusion. Okay. Okay. So you feeling feeling good? I'm feeling good. Okay. Yeah, first one down. All Go. right. All right. And it's the Bible one, so you got it. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Question number two. By certain events, this person encounters people who do not know God and believe him to be a God. He tells them he is not a higher being and tells them of creation. Is this Tolkien or is it Paul? <laughs> that is also Paul. Because there's the, the time on his missionary journey where he gets stranded on the island and he's performing miracles, and the inhabitants are like, oh, you're God! And he's like, no, I'm not! <laughs> okay, so you're going with Paul. Yes. What? So, yes. this. So that does happen with Paul in Acts 28 with the people of Melita, uh -huh. which is what you're referencing. Yes. It also occurs in Acts 14 of, I believe, the people of Lystra. Okay. But this is referencing Frenrod Felagon when he encounters men. And the thing that differentiates that is that while Paul says, like, no, I'm not God, and here's who God is, Frenrod actually tells them of creation, which is why they believe he's uh, God. They believe, they believe he's a Valar, a higher creation. being. Creation. Got yeah, you. yeah, yeah, yeah. Got the technicalities. Technicalities. That's, okay. that's what this game is about. Okay, okay. <laughs> okay. So you got you got one right, one wrong. Gotcha. Okay. Um, okay, so number three. He does many awful, destructive things in rebellion of God, but is eventually redeemed and forgiven, though he still has a tendency to be harsh. Is this Paul or is it Tolkien? <laughs> Your instinct right? is Paul. <laughs> it's got to be Paul. It's Paul. I'm all Paul. Uh, golly. This would be an easy quiz if I was just like, Paul. Yes. It's uh, like, what's the Bible answer? Jesus. <laughs> okay. Because, yeah, one of, one of them, there's. I'm going with my gut. And my gut says Paul. 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 Okay, so no. I was talking about Ose, which we hear about this in of the Maiar. So oh, yeah, he, he joins up with, with Melkor. Melkor. 
and causes all of this destruction. And Unanen, by the the begging of Aule, is like, please go get your husband under control. Yeah. And so he's brought to uh, uh, Eru to be forgiven, and he's redeemed. However, Unanen is constantly having to kind of keep them at bay. Uh, I will say the thing that I was like, which one should I go with? I don't know. Is the word harsh. Because technically, Ose was continuously being destructive, whereas Paul might be more commonly classified as harsh. Though I don't really know... He's not really harsh, necessarily. I don't know. Corinthians is a very was... intense. You guys need to get your crap together type <laughs> book of the Bible. That's true. Um, so I guess this one can go either way. I'm sure there will be remarks and comments of like, that should go to Paul. And maybe it should. But I was intending it to be Ose. Okay. Okay. So these last two questions. If that one was hard, these two are probably going to be really hard. It's just going to be Paul from here on out. <laughs> Because they are all applicable. All right, number four. Okay. He knows he has to go to a dangerous place despite warnings from others. He goes willingly, knowing he will never return. Is this Paul or is it Tolkien? Yeah. You're like my gut instinct. Like, okay, these are all very vague. That's the idea. Yeah. And it fits Paul, but it also fits Frodo as well. And so with how you've been ruling on these, I'm going to go with Tolkien instead. You'd be wrong. <laughs> so this is Paul um, in Acts 20. Uh, the Holy Spirit tells him that he needs to go to Jerusalem. It's a whole thing. People are like, please don't go. Like, three uh prophetess three daughters come and tell paul like if you go to jerusalem you're gonna get hurt and he kind of tells everybody like yeah i know that but this is where god's sending me and at the end of that chapter all the people are like having essentially like this last you know this last meal with paul knowing that he'll never return and he knows he'll never return so that's kind of the the difference is that he knows he won't return. And the other thing is that he goes willingly. And here was my thinking. Mm -hmm. Frodo once does return from Mordor. And the other thing is that, and maybe this is more of an opinion thing, is that I would argue that he's maybe less willing in the sense that he's not willing to give up the ring for someone else to do it. So, like, there's still a compulsion there. Gotcha. That was my my thought process. Gotcha. Okay. I see what you're you're saying. See what I'm putting down? Yes. I told you it was gonna be challenging. Okay. Right. Are you ready? Yes. Last one. Last one. Last one. <laughs> Got, you gotten one right? Yep. One right. <laughs> okay, last one. I'm a failure. No, you're not. I love you. <clears throat> Number five. Okay. He goes into a dangerous place, is greatly hurt to the point of appearing dead, is taken to a new location, but will get up and continue his journey. Okay, then that is Tolkien, because that is Frodo. It is Frodo. You got it right. This is Frodo with Shelob. Yes. However... And Paul was stoned. Paul, so here's what happened. And, and was left for dead. Well, because people thought he was dead. Here's the thing. And, and then he got up and said, too bad. <laughs> and here's the thing. In Acts 14, Paul is stoned within the city of Derb, I believe. And, or no, I'm sorry, not in Derb. Maybe it's in Lystra. So in Acts 14, he's stoned in Lystra mm -hmm. by people from Antioch and Iconium. Well, the thing is that you weren't supposed to stone people within the city. They need to be stoned outside of the city so wall. They broke into the... So they moved him outside and of the city walls. He died there. Thought he died there. But Paul just gets back up, goes back into the city, and then uh, he leaves the next day for dirt. So the thing that I was thinking on this one was that not only is Frodo taken to a new location, though, like Paul, 
But unlike Paul, he doesn't go back into Shelob's cave. He continues on his journey, whereas yeah. Paul goes back. Yeah. So that was my my thinking. But you did get it right. So gotcha. what what did you think? Uh, <laughs> was this like a some cheap shots kind of thing? Yes, because they were all Paul. <laughs> they were all Paul. That was kind of the idea, is that they were all going to allude to Paul but there was going to be that one little thing yeah. that would make it make it Tolkien. Mm-hmm. So, did you like it at least? I did. Okay, good. She's fun. Good. Well, I hope everybody out there enjoyed it. I, I hope uh, you guys did well on the quiz. And I hope, if not, you know, there was some fun information in there, I guess. Um, but I hope you all have a wonderful, blessed week. And may your homes be filled with food and cheer. Bye. Hehehe. <laughs>